everybody. Welcome back. Today is my seed haul video. I have been waiting for what feels like an eternity to do this video. Um, I think I placed my first seed order a month ago, maybe right after Christmas. Um, I did place three orders, um, three different companies. Um, I had to wait on all three to arrive. And then we went um, on vacation to Arizona. <laughs> so we just got back um, last week from that. Um, so now it's time. It's time to do this. And then at the end, I want to shout out a couple of people that I just adore that are just wonderful, beautiful people that now have YouTube channels. So stay tuned to the end for that. So let's get into this seat haul, shall we? All right. Um, the three companies that I hauled from this year, um, Park Seed, which is a new one for me, never ordered from them before. Um, and then MI Gardener, and then of course Baker Creek. So I'm gonna start with Park Seed because this one was new to me. Um, not the company, but just, you know, ordering seeds. Um, this year I was like, let me order from someplace new. Um, and I did check out Johnny Seed. I had a little bit of sticker shock and I was like, well, all right, maybe not this year. So then, you know, doing the Google search, the first one that comes up, of course, is like an ad for park seed. I'm like, okay, well, let me try them. I mean, I'm not going to say it was cheaper, but they had something that I really, 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 really wanted. And I thought park seed was the only place that had it. Turns out they were not. But anyway, I ordered from them and paid $9.95 shipping because I thought they were the only place that had the seed that I wanted. So opening this up here, so it's just a packing list. And actually I forgot what all I had ordered from them. Yeah, because it was shipped on December 30th. So let's see what we have. Um, oh, they do send you a seed starting handbook. So that's kind of fun. First one, loofah. I've been wanting loofah, and I think at the time um, when I was doing my Baker Creek order, the loofah had sold out like at that moment. So luckily I found it at Park Seed. Uh, there's 25 seeds in here. Um, I don't remember the prices on everything. Did I print that out? I don't know if I did. Park Seed, I did. Look at me, I'm good. Uh, Park Seed, the loofah. Gourd seeds, 25 seeds were $3.95. It's not horrible. That's not horrible. Next, oh, Crimson King Basil, which is like a, a dark basil. Um, I'll try to put some pictures somewhere. Um, so the Crimson King, I should just have this spread out where I can read it. Crimson King, $1.95. Not too pricey there. Ooh, this one, um... I got the Zinnia Elegans. It's a Cinderella a Lilac. These were $4.95, but they're really pretty. So, yeah, Cinderella. Next, oh, Zabrun Shallot. Yeah, I'm gonna try to grow some shallots. That one, uh, $5.95. Um, and you'll also see a repeat of this in a different order because I forgot I'd ordered these. So I paid a lot for shallots. I better get a boatload of shallots this year. I do like shallots. Please germinate, please. Okay. Mm. This one I'm real excited about. This, this one here. It's the, hold on, I can't read. Double Sahara Salmon. That looks gorgeous in the photo. And it was $4.95. Um, okay, and then the <laughs> the whole reason I placed this entire order is because I really wanted, hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. These were $3.95. I thought I just had to have them, which is why I paid the $9.95 shipping. And it's an ornamental grass, bunny tails. And then I saw that other people do have it, including Botanical Interest, which I will order from next year at Botanical Interest. But um, these bunny tails look I keep forgetting to look at you. These bunny tails look super adorable, super adorable. So I'm excited about that. So that is, ooh, get $10 for every friend you refer. I'm referring you. Go ahead. 
order from Park C. <laughs> All right, so that's my Park Seed order. Super exciting. Next, we're going to do MI Gardener. I do like MI Gardener's prices because just about every seed packet is two bucks and they don't charge shipping. And I do understand people have to charge shipping. I'm not, you know, heartless. I know I have to charge them. Not everyone can do free shipping. Just saying that was sticker shock for me. Don't know if I'll go with Park Seed again. I might give someone else a try. Anyway, all right, so here is my MI Gardener order. Got quite a bit. Let's see here. Also, I do not remember everything I got. Ah, delicata squash. Because remember, I'm gonna stay on those squash bugs, those squash vine bores. I'm on it this year. Let's see. French breakfast radish only because I have a newfound love for radish and I want all the radish. All There's the shallot. This one I paid $2 for, so I'm gonna just grow all the shallots. Uh, red giant mustard, I grew this last year and actually I still have some in the garden right now, um, but I need to do better with it. I saw someone else's video and I do not remember the YouTuber, I'm so sorry, or I would shout you out. Um, but their uh, red giant mustard, like, were big leaves. My leaves are like this leaves. I got up my fertilizing game, folks. My fertilizing game is awful. Anyway. Oh, yes. I wanted to try some radicchio because I heard it's good for your gut health. It's like one of those prebiotics, kind of like asparagus and onions and things. Um, apparently, radicchio is really good for your tummy and all your bacteria. Apparently they like it. So I'm gonna grow this, and I didn't tell you the name either. It's Rogue, Rogue di Verona is the thing. 300 seed count. Um, oh, La Cianato Kale, the dinosaur kale. I did have some seeds and I planted them out in the potager um, this fall, and I guess they were just really old because I got zero germination. So I'm gonna try it again. Ooh, flowers, flowers. Um, this one I'm excited about. This is a straw flower called Vintage White. It's gonna be so pretty. Never grown straw flowers before. So I have the Vintage White and then the Silvery Rose. I mean, those are gonna be so pretty. So pretty. Um, also this year I want to, um, grow more uh for the pollinators um host plants and you know just plants that they will love um also more herbs for tea because since i got my dehydrator i want to start drying and steeping in hot water all the things so one of those things is bee balm look at that i've never grown bee balm before i hear it's in the mint family i hear you can do lots of things with it this is the wild bergamot bee balm Seed count 100, but pollinators are going to love it. I'm going to love it. It's pretty. There you go. Ooh, this is an eggplant. I have no idea why I chose this Rosa Bianca. No idea. We'll see. I do like eggplant. I do. Ooh, and this is a new one. I have never grown corn before. This is the Double Sweet Red. We're going to give it a try. It looks, it looks cool. Um... I have never grown corn. I have, I'm going to have to do some research on how to grow corn, where to grow it. Like, do I grow it in my raised bed? Do I maybe make a bed? I don't know how to grow it. We'll figure it out. Ooh, black nebula carrot. Only because those look amazing. Kind of want to juice those. I need to dust off my juicer. It's been at least four years since I've used my juicer. So, especially with all the kale and stuff I'm going to be growing. Anyway, that looks cool. Um, and then lemon basil. Because I've just about given up on growing basil because I don't think I like it. Like the cardinal basil that I grew is beautiful. And I like it for the flowers. So I like it for, um, like to put in vases. And I like the smell, the licorice smell. I don't like the licorice taste. Um, so I, And I grew some sweet Italian basil. I didn't like the taste of that either. So I'm going to try this one. No, I'm trying. 
Oh, and last, <laughs> speaking of basil, last one is the Tulsi Holy Basil because I grew this last year and it was awesome. I don't think I saved any seed and I'm not sure if it'll come back. Um, I did let it go to flower, so it may have reseeded itself, but just in case it didn't, I wanna grow some more because I did not harvest the leaves and dry them for tea. I used a few fresh leaves for tea, but I had so much growing out there, I should have jars and jars and jars of tea leaves and I do not. I'm gonna do better this year with the saving of all of my fruits of my labor because I didn't hardly save crapola. So, all right, last. See how fast I'm moving? I'm so proud of myself, I'm moving like really fast. Okay, next is Baker Creek. I really like their packaging this year. It's kind of fun. It's different. I don't remember in years past the packaging being so colorful. Okay. So, I don't think I went too crazy with the seeds this year. Um, and I still have a bunch in that box there from last year. There will be some, some repeats in the garden and then there will be some things that I am not growing again and I can't think of either one of those right now so don't no, ask no, it's not gonna be in this video I'll have to do another video okay so ah putting in a room here hold on wine break mm. okie dokie I am excited about this order and I did pretty good I only spent $64.75 here, which is not bad. Oh, did I say the totals on the other ones? Uh, park seed order was $32.96. And, and, and my gardener. Apparently was free. And my gardener. $30 even. Boom. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. I did probably better this year. this year than last year. Okay. Here we go. Baker Creek. Seed order. Another wine break. And LaCroix. I like to have the two together. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. That's good. Okay. I am going to try for the first time this Thai Soldier Long Bean. That looks cool. Like I said... In earlier videos, I need more beans. I need all the beans. Um, my garden did not give me the beans I wanted. Um, oh yeah, the Chinese red noodle long bean. All the beans. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. these look cool. This is a pepper called Aji Kajuka. Isn't that pretty? That looks pretty. I forgot I ordered that. Okay, let's see. Mm. These I need to get out there now. Um, lettuce called Little Gem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to get those started. Because, you know, we're, we're kind of mild here. Um, in case you didn't know, I am in Southeast Texas. Uh, north of Houston. Um, and I am in uh, Zone 8B. Right on the cusp of 9A. Like, Houston is 9A. I'm like 50 miles north in 8B. So, I should still be growing things. Um, which I do, I have things out there, but I should have more out there right now. Um, my free seed packet is the Merlot lettuce. Fun. That needs to get out there. Oh, my hair is bugging me. I need a clip or something. Hold, please. Okay. Next um, is a cauliflower called Rober. I believe, Rober. I have never grown, I don't think cauliflower before ever. Anyway, that's gonna be fun. Um, here's a cucumber called Early Fortune. I have. I don't remember uh, picking this. Maybe I wanted something for pickling. I don't know, it looks like a smaller cucumber. Anyway, um, these I've been hearing about from um, Jess with what is her name? Roots and Refuge. These ground cherries. Aunt Molly's. I'm going to try them. Um, these will be in place of the lychee tomatoes that tried to come back, but we had a freeze and it killed them. So, yeah. No more lychee. Don't get the lychee tomato. It's dumb. It doesn't taste good. 
Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of the pollinators, uh, got some milkweed. This is the red or swamp milkweed for the uh, caterpillars of butterflies that like this. I think it's more than just uh, monarchs that like the milkweed. I'm not sure. I think I read that somewhere. Anyway, I'm excited to grow this. Um, oh, I am so excited about this moringa, dwarf moringa. Apparently it is a superfood. It is very medicinal. What I would like to do with this, um, when I grow it is to dry the leaves in my dehydrator and like grind it into a powder and just add it to everything. Just put it in everything and we're going to be so healthy. We're going to be so healthy. Anyway, I'm excited about this and I don't think it's going to be a perennial for me um, because of my zone, but we'll see. I mean, we're right on the edge there where it might. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, another one from uh, Roots and Refuge from Jess is the Kajari Melon. I've heard very good things from actually a lot of people. Um, so I'm excited about the Kajari Melon. Um, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a broccoli early purple sprouting. It's because it looks pretty. I'm excited about that. Um, I've heard a lot about this one as well. This is the Jimmy Nardello Italian pepper. Thought I'd try that. People seem to like it. I hear it a lot in YouTube videos. So, um, purple beauty pepper. Isn't that cute? Some things I'm growing just so when I walk into my potage, it's just a rainbow of colors. All the fruits and veggies. I just want color. Lots of color and deliciousness. And those look good. So, that's going to be fun. Oh, and I got white scallop squash. I don't know why I bought it from Baker Creek because the pack of seeds, I think I have one or two left. I got like at Walmart, which is probably a lot cheaper. But um, anyway, remember, we're on top of that vine bore and we're going to get all the squashes, all the squashes. Actually, what I'm going to do, um, a lot of my seeds I'm going to start now because I recently had the revelation that my last frost date, I know, and I call myself a gardener, my last frost date here is March 20th. So I need to get my stuff going now and maybe I'm thinking of, of growing like two batches, um, one batch to put out the end of March. And then if we do have a freak frost or freeze that kills them, I'll have another batch in the house under grow lights that I can then take out like maybe early April, because I think if I get in front of that vine borer, which doesn't get bad till like the beginning of June, if I can have plants that are ready to go, end of March, early April, we might could get fruit by June. Fingers crossed. That's my plan. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking again. Um, another squash, this is Caserta. That looks really pretty. I've bought something similar at the store and they're just yummy. I like them. I like these better than the dark, dark green zucchinis. I don't know why, I just, I like them better. So we're gonna try that. No, oh, this tomato, orange accordion. Look at that. Because I'm going to stay on those leaf-footed bugs and stink bugs, right? I'm staying on the bugs because I got almost no slicers. I just got a bunch of cherry tomatoes last year. And stink bugs ruined my slicers with their little sucking mouths. So, that looks fun. That looks really fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to grow this. I've heard it's difficult. <laughs> It's very difficult. This is the uh, Romanesco uh, broccoli. It's like, or cauliflower. I've heard it called both Romanesco uh, broccoli or cauliflower, but it's just pretty. I don't know if you can see the, the, the head there. That's just very geometrical and, and kind of awesome. So anyway, I need to get those seeds started. Um, Fairy's crazy cherry. I've heard good things and it looks very cool. Um, I did want to focus more on slicers instead of cherry tomatoes this year, but these look fun. So, and with the dehydrator, I think I'm going to do a lot more drying and making my famous tomato chips. <laughs> oh, I think I'm the only one who thinks that's funny, but it's funny. I'm going to make tomato chips, which are just, you know, dehydrated tomatoes. Um, glass two, we have a cabbage core. Core debut, 
Cordibu, maybe? I don't know. That looks good. It's raining. Oh, it's really raining. It's been raining all day. That's why I'm in here doing this. Um, anyway, cabbage. I've only grown cabbage once from like a start that I got at the store. Um, haven't grown another one, so we'll see how that goes. And then last is the Zinnia Pink Senorita. It reminds me of the cactus ones that I grew last year, especially the pink one. There was a pink cactus one that was like my favorite. It was like a mix of different color cactuses and I like the pink, so got that one. I'm kind of wishing that I'd got some of the queen limes, like the queen lime orange and the queen lime red. I see those in other sea halls and I'm like, dang it, why didn't I get that? But I didn't, maybe next year. Be something fun for next year because I'm done. I'm not ordering anything else. I have so many seeds, um, new seeds, and then I have so many old seeds that I still want to do. But now that I've gotten my seed haul out of the way, I can actually start um, getting my seeds going. So that's exciting. And now for the two channels that I want to shout out. Hold on. So if you are subscribed to my channel, I would really like for you to go check out these two channels consider subscribing. They are wonderful, awesome people. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I mean, you could. Why not? That'd be, that'd be cool. Give me a like and a subscribe. But anyway, the two people that I want to shout out are Emily Gardner. She's just a beautiful person. She's been a subscriber to this channel for quite a while. And I just found out today that she has her own channel. She has a seed haul video up right now. So go for sure, check that out. Um, I just love her. She just has good energy. Both of these ladies have good energy. You know, they just, I follow them on Instagram. I watch their YouTube videos and they're just, um, they're just beautiful people. So Emily Gardner and Shimon from Growing in San Antonio. She just, her Instagram is Growing in SA, I believe. But just a beautiful person, beautiful channel, beautiful garden, chickens. They just got a new little pig. Just go check them out. They're just good people, and I think you would really enjoy their content. So, there you go. All right. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you next time.